The game of volleyball is faster and more intense than ever before. With so much riding on every point, we need to ensure that we are getting the greatest possible percentage of decisions correct, especially the important ones, for example a set or match point. One point can make a major difference in a set. It is, after all, half the difference required to win a set. CEV is committed to using new technology to assist the referees in the decision-making process in order to make the game absolutely fair to the athlete's action. Challenge systems in volleyball give teams the opportunity to check a referee's decision and referees themselves the chance to confirm a decision if they are unsure. The video challenge system we have uses 15 cameras. It takes up to two hours to set up. During the match, we have uh, two people in our crew, one operating in the software with the challenge referee and one is to prepare challenge report and fix any hardware issues, for example, when the ball hits a camera. Teams are entitled to request challenges during play each time they believe that a fault has taken place which was not called by the referees or at the end of the rally when they would like to ask a review of the referee's decision concerning the last action in that rally. When after a rally, they have eight seconds to make their challenge. Teams are only allowed two unsuccessful challenges per set. After that, they are not allowed to challenge any more for the duration of that set. Be challenge referee is very important during the match and all challenge video check is very important for the teams very important for the referees also and uh, especially for the end of the set, end of the match during the crucial points. That's why we, are, can pay, we have to be, pay attention about it. There are six different things that can be challenged. Number one, ball in or out on both the side and end lines. Number two, touch, and that is when the ball touches a player or not. Number three, net fault when a player makes contact with the net between the two antennae. Number four, antennae touch, when either the ball or a player touches the antennae or not. Foot fault, in three different places, number one on the service line, number two on the three meter attack line, and number three, whether they cross the center line with their foot or feet. And the sixth and final challenge is whether the ball touches the floor or not. Teams make a challenge using their tablet, the same tablet that they use for making substitutions and requesting timeouts. The decision-making process is quite simple. The moment in question is found and reviewed by the challenge referee as quickly as possible. If the footage is inconclusive, then we stick with the original decision of the referees. The challenge system provides an important role in spectator experience, and that's why it's important that we get it right, and that it also brings some added dimension to our game of volleyball. In my referee life, uh, I have a crucial point when we use uh, the challenge. There was during a uh, Champions League match, any team had possibilities to ch use challenge because uh, two challenges uh, was uh, incorrect. And then was a very big monster block and goes close to uh, the sideline. First referee use the challenge uh, yourself because uh, because was very crucial point and there was really out really end of the match 26 to 24 end of the match we hope that this helps you understand more about the role of the challenge system in volleyball and next time you look out for us helping ensure that the right team wins <laughs>